Here with head coach Sarah Rowan after a 3-0 loss to number eight Wayne State. And Sarah, really in that first set, I think the big thing was errors, right? Mm -hmm. Service errors, attacking errors. Just touch on the first set a little bit. It really got down to the Wildcats. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we played back and forth volleyball mm -hmm. with them. They're a good team for sure. They showed why they're number eight in the country. And it's just consistency for mm -hmm. sure. You know, we had a few too many hitting errors. We held them to only 11 kills, which mm -hmm. is great. We mm -hmm. played some good, really good defense, but they only had two hitting errors. And we had more than, more than that. In all three sets, though, we were right with them until mm -hmm. midway through the set. Mm -hmm. Is that just them showing their strength, or what, what did they do differently midway through the set? Yeah, I mean, I think it was a battle the entire mm -hmm. way through. We had some long rallies, some back-and-forth mm -hmm. volleyball, and, you know, they were just able to take advantage of the one little opening that mm -hmm. they had, and that's something we were talking about the entire match. You know, we were doing the right things. We're going after the right spots. We're getting them out of system, you know, playing back and forth, and they were able to just end the rally before we got that one more shot, and they're a good team. How much does a team like Wayne State really make you think because they have so many attackers? Mm -hmm. So did that play into your game plan a little bit to try to stop? Did you try to stop one person? What was the game plan going into tonight? Um, really just kind of we knew what all of their hitters were going to do. We mm -hmm. needed to serve tough um, to eliminate a mm -hmm. couple of the options, which we did at times. Yes, we had a few too many errors, but you know we were also able to take out some of their attackers mm -hmm. as well too, and then we knew that ball would be going to the outside, and unfortunately their outside sides are up to the task tonight and took advantage of some good swings. Sarah, another really good crowd tonight, including all true people, you know, really good to have them. Just talk about the partnerships that, mm -hmm. and what they mean to Minnesota Crooks and Athletics. Yeah, we're so grateful mm -hmm. for all of the support that we get, mm -hmm. and, you know, the fans were great tonight. It was awesome to have all true out here, and in addition to so many community members, it's mm -hmm. about you just become such a great place mm -hmm. to, to come watch volleyball mm -hmm. and every other sport mm -hmm. here, and, you know, we're really appreciative of that. We're appreciative of all the student athletes mm -hmm. that came yeah, out. They were really very loud crowd, tonight. Yeah. You know, it's it's always good to have that, that good atmosphere in your home gym. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to become that place that people don't want to come mm -hmm. play at. Mm -hmm. Sarah, tomorrow, elementary kids, they autographs after the game. So coming out, but tomorrow, Augustana University, mm -hmm. another really good team, another team fighting for the playoff spot mm -hmm. in the NSIC. Mm -hmm. So what's it going to take to uh, beat the Vikings tomorrow night? I think just building on what we came out with mm -hmm. tonight. You know, we took some great swings. We played some great defense, um, you know, and it's building on that and continuing to progress to now we're the team that ends that rally first and just coming out tough. All right, thanks, Sarah, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you.